Dragon survivalist and I'm a wildlife aficionado. Let's take you around the sixth floor. Okay, it's bloody bonds are out right now. Lovely, lovely day in this environment. I'm really enjoying myself studying this school. It's absolutely wonderful. Today's like this really make my job worth it. Okay, so right now, we're at the entrance of the school. You know, it's absolutely lovely. And we're gonna take you on a tour of the school. Uh, have a look at the species, have a little interview. You know, we'll just see what we get up to. Thanks for watching. Okay, rock traversal is something that you must know how to do in the environment. Okay, but I must urge you, I'm a trained professional, and you must not, must not attempt this at home. Are you ready? Back! Grotky. Okay, we're just on our way to the next site. We thought we'd stop off, enjoy the sunshine. <laughs> That is just one example of how dangerous this environment is. You really have to be on your toes. I urge everyone to be very, very, very careful. Okay, this is a dangerous environment, and I mean, please do not try this at home, okay? This is the main social hub of the school, okay? Everything comes from here. It's like the source of the night. It's the main social activity hub. As you can see, lots of activity at the moment, different species milling around. Let's take a little look. Let's take you in. It's okay, I'm friendly. Okay, this is where the creative minds of the sixth form like to inhabit. It's a lovely environment and very safe. Thanks for checking us out, guys. Thanks, guys. In my line of work, you've got to be ready for anything. The fire alarm has gone off, and there's been reports of a wildcat roaming the areas. Let's see if we can find it. Look at footage of a wildcat. Look just here. Look just here. Look at that. That's a very rare sighting. Okay, guys, we're right in the thick of it right now. We're just in the vicinity of some local squatters. Okay, these they scrounge off your environment and stay anywhere and as close to a natural habitat as possible. Let's take a look. You can see them scrimping the plugs and the Wi-Fi. Two years from me. You join me here at the local watering hole. This is where many of the students come to get their, the animals and the students come to get their water and get, get some protein. You know, it's got to be done. And, uh, but the only problem is this water is extremely dangerous. And only you can help people save themselves from this dirty, dirty water. I myself will not be drinking it. So Bergen, what made you come to this very hazardous place? Well, I've been at this school for millennia, probably longer than any student ever has, never will be. And uh, I feel like it's my calling to come here and study the school and help the environment. So Bergen, in this environment you've obviously been exposed to many dangerous situations. Can you uh, enlighten us on some of these? Well, I've actually been involved in multiple, multiple extremely dangerous collisions and savage attacks. Uh, one of which was, you really don't want to be caught coming in school with your shirt untucked and uh, a Miss Derbyshire roaming because she's very, very protective over the uniform and uh, I myself have been caught almost in a in the hands of death, really, because uh, my shirt was untucked. So I advise everyone to make sure you have your shirt tucked in on the way in, because it will act as camouflage and you may, may survive. So Bergen, you are exposed to many species in the school. 
which would you say are the most docile and friendly? I'd probably say in all my years I've uh, probably discovered many species that no one had heard of before, but my favourite probably is the, the sight staff. They're extremely friendly, lovely blokes, and I, I just get on with them really well. I like them a lot.